Hi, I'm Emily. I don't know about you, but chocolate chip cookies are definitely one of my biggest weaknesses. And just like a little kid, I love them with a cold glass of non-dairy milk. Typically, chocolate chip cookies don't have um, much nutritional value at all and tend to be loaded with fat, have tons of cholesterol, and are very high in sugar. Not these cookies. These cookies are loaded with tons of fiber. They are virtually cholesterol-free and low in fat. They are absolutely delicious. The recipe calls for one and a half cups of whole wheat pastry flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of packed brown sugar, one fourth cup of table sugar, one banana, one fourth cup of non-hydrogenated non-dairy spread, one and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, half a cup of old-fashioned oats, one cup of high fiber cereal, one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and one quarter cup of chopped nuts. Grab two bowls, one potato masher, a wooden spoon, a rubber spatula, a regular spatula, two little spoons, and one baking sheet. Preheat the oven to 375. First, you'll want to mix the dry ingredients. Using whole wheat pastry flour instead of white flour tends to give it much more fiber, protein, and other trace minerals. We're using a banana instead of eggs to serve as the binder for the cookies, and it also provides an extra dose of potassium. Mash the banana, then add the rest of the wet ingredients. Combine the wet and dry ingredients and mix well. Now for the crunchy stuff. The oats, the cereal, which is something my mom used to always do to her own chocolate chip cookies, the semi-sweet chocolate chips, and the walnuts. And get ready to put some elbow grease into this one. Oh, this is hard work. That's it, I'm going in with my hands. Either use two spoons or your hands to form the cookies on the baking sheet. Press them down a bit so they cook evenly. Stick in the oven and bake 8 to 10 minutes, depending on your oven. Mmm, they smell great. Now let's put them on the rack to cool. And you can really add anything to these cookies. Cranberries, raisins, pecans, or even just any extra cereal. I seriously don't think I'll ever grow out of loving cookies, but at least now they have some nutritional value.